That is why I want, Mr. Charlie, I want to help you to clear your name. But my name is clear, I'm not worried about nothing. I work, I work my honest bread, miss. I get to work at films. And I do a thing, I, I, I don't carry this no way or more than that. What me to carry about? Me not carry nothing about where people, where me hear people that talk about. So where, you, so where, where did the work carry you from? What? So you, you went to Chelsea and picked up something. So where did you carry the item? I carry it at a car wash. And boss, don't ask you no more questions. Please and thank you. Hi, greetings. Is this Mr. Charlie? This is Andre Stevens. How are you doing? Stevens. Um, I heard I must. I'm one of the people who are doing the in the the broadcast and what has been happening, and. The nation heard a voice note going around where in which you supposedly were talking to a policeman. I am Andre. I, 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 I heard the voice note and how I got the number? Somebody sent the number to me. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what's going on. You don't understand what's going on. And I'm talking to you in confidence. Because people are saying you know what happened to the situation. And I want to... I work at Fields. I don't... I don't... I don't... That's it. Number one, can't even talk to you. Know? You can't even talk... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I don't want anything else go to and give me any problem. No, and that is why I want, Mr. Charlie, I want to help you to clear your name. But my name is clear, I don't worry about nothing. I work, I work my honest bread, miss. I get to work at fields. And I do a thing, I, I, I don't carry this no way or more than that. What me to carry about. I don't carry nothing about where people, where me hear people that talk about. So where, you, so where, where did the work carry you from? What? So you, you went to Chelsea and picked up something. So where did you carry the item? I carried it at a car wash. And boss, don't ask you no more questions. Please and thank you. You carried it to a car wash? Yes, sir. But is, uh, may I try to help you clear your name in a Mr. Charlie? All right, you have a call, my boss. I get, me get in a call. I get on a call now. May I, I, I talk to my sister about something? All right, Mr. Charlie. Yes. Something just not right. At a car wash. At a car wash. Hello? Andre. Yes. You confirm it now, right? I can't. You can't confirm it now. What I can't I say? You carry care of um coat for care wash? Come on. That's a car wash. All right. Thanks, my friend. Mm-mm. Hello? 
Hello? Yes, there. Mm -hmm. Andre, this guy is way too guilty. Because um, when you are talking to the, the, the gentleman, Mr. Noel, Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus, my phone is up now. Hello? Andre, listen to me. That man knows something. Common sense dictates, Andre. If you take, a, 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 you take the thing to the car wash, don't you ever get it washed and bring it back? Mm -hmm. oh. You know, I get it once and bring it back. Mm -hmm. If the car wash a dumb side, something so reveal more, you hear? Yes, something something is not right. And just you realize say, to, uh, him, him very he's question. very guarded. Something's going on. Andre, when just said to you, no make no sense. If him did say to yourself, boss, me get a job to carry up um a piece of coach, go at the dump or so would understand. But if you get a job, Andre, use common sense. You 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 are you you are doing what the job that he does. And you get something to take to the car wash. Wouldn't you get the understanding? Say, okay, boss, carry this body car wash to me. And when them on a done wash it, bring it back. But you see, you, what you do, you take something to the car wash and leave it there, and it's not a car. What I find strange is that in, in the voice note, him never differentiate to say what you're talking about because I never go on a upholstery, okay. I went to a car wash. Okay, okay, so same story change something, Andre. Take it as me tell you that man knows something. You hear me tell you? That man knows something. And I guarantee you, based on the, the, based on the voice note of who introduced who to who, that man is somebody that when people need certain kind of things done, he is the go-to person to do it. You hear me I tell you? It may take a dance person to see. That man knows something. And I think it is high time now that the police takes him in for questioning. They All need right. to take him in and question him. Alright, my friend, me gonna take some more call, yeah? Alright, baby, look him on. I'm one of the patrons that are listening to your life. Great, great insight, by the way. But um the chaos theory, I wouldn't say it is that case. Because the guy that just called made a pretty much important point because it didn't it didn't really cause chaos for the investigators because Indicom has a little hand handle on things. But mm -hmm. I think that, you know, Charlie needs to understand that we are with him, and you did, you know, made some valid points to Charlie, but he's still skeptical. Skyle, yes, yeah, I believe Charlie will talk, but he now is very skeptical of who is calling him. Exactly. So I think one of us, probably before the march, we could come up with like a hundred grand and say, "Hey, Charlie, we know that this is the case because if you did it once, you did it more than once." And Indicom will squeeze him on that and say, "Hey, you can come and say plausible den deniability when it comes to Noel." And he'll go to jail, but you'll be in Woodstock, which is witness protection. But at the end of the day, Charlie's very skeptical. Are you an attorney? No, I I was a paralegal, and I'm two years in, in law school. So yes, I somewhat. But um. So if Charlie needs that legal advice, are you willing to give him legal uh, advice? Legally, I could, but I wouldn't want to represent him. We no, I know you couldn't him. represent him because you're not past the bar yet. Exactly, but. He has plausible deniability, and in every Commonwealth law, it stands that if he is willing to provide information for an arrest or what charge, you said, call plausible, plausible deniability. deniability. Yeah, and so explain what mm. questions, mm -hmm. which is good. He doesn't know what was in it, even though it's skeptical. He still can legally say, "Hey, on the Commonwealth law, of course, I don't know about American law. Hey, dude, you asked me to do a job. I did a job for you. Now you need to pay me." And it seems as if reparations were not made, meaning that Charlie wasn't paid the amount that he was promised. Mm. And he's disgruntled because his livelihood now is in question. I did a little call a while ago to the Phil Tagrier. They don't say, I don't I don't hear a Charlie probably goes by another name or probably the wrong There's name. another name. I can't give out the right name. Yeah, so they don't if know what Charlie, me, Charlie. If you WhatsApp me, I'll send you the name. Alright, cool. I'll do that right now. But I think if we come up and say, hey buddy, 
Here's a thousand US dollars, 145 grand. No, we sir. That can't Charlie nothing. Charlie need a million dollars to crack the case. <laughs> well, you're right, because as I said, if he did it once, he has done Charlie, it. Charlie, now get back that truck, then no time soon, you know. Because there's evidence inside of it. And chlorophyll, the, the chemical you're talking about that washes away blood, it's called hydrogen chlor chloroxide or something like that. Hydrogen. Literally clean. Yeah, I know cleaners around the world, you know. I can't say, but they can clean a, a, a crime scene that is bloody where people even cut off the head, mm -hmm. and you can never know. So I'm not looking for evidence. What I'm looking for are the conspirators. And the conspirator right now, which is the key element, is the person that cleaned up the body. And that's Charlie right there, you feel what I'm saying? Me not think that Charlie clean up the body. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, Noel. Exactly. But Charlie knows what was disposed and where he left it. And if we could track that, because there's cameras right now, according to the Jamaican society, there's cameras on most uh, main streets. And to get where Charlie went to, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? There's about seven cameras I drove this morning and saw. And I'm like, there must be something that picks up where he went after he went where he said he went. So you drive from the apartment this morning? Exactly. Yeah, I did. I drove fast because I live in New Kingston too. You mm -hmm. feel me? So... It's just around the corner. Chelsea Avenue just around the corner. People don't go around there a lot, but there's three cameras opposite each other because there's oh. two apartment complexes there. And there's the one that he lives, there's mm. another one in front of it, which is way more expensive. You feel me? So they're always monitored. And there's mm. a security there. So all these people know who went there and what was taken up, especially seeing that he had to leave. And I, I'm hearing the little birdie says more than one person had to take out whatever couch there is. I don't know the color because people are saying it was black. I'm just going by what I see so far, you know what I'm saying? But we need to get to Charlie. And we need to give him some money and security. Because he's the one who's going to get I away. think Charlie needs security more than anything else. Exactly. So, I'm going to WhatsApp you and see if we can talk and see if we can come up with some conclusions. But you're right. A lot of eyes are on you. You know why? What Charlie did, he has done before. And the other person that Charlie helped out is definitely scared. So he's thinking about all those aspects that you're probably not thinking about right now. And he's saying, shit, even if I give up one... Everybody's going to think I'm going to give up everybody else. You know what I'm saying? So that's why Charlie's so skeptical and withdrawn. So there's a lot hanging on Charlie's head. So I think these are the reasons why we could probably consider is this, Charlie's in the is this, Would this be a, 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 a classic case in Jamaica as a, as a legal mind? Tell us. Would this be a... Uh, a, one, a one lawyer, I would say, would be man enough and with the resources right now as a criminal lawyer and a champion that can handle this type of pressure and the threats that come with it. Because he's well poised in this position for years. So you're saying the family must try to get Peter Champagne to take up the case? There we go. I think if they call him right now, at least you're going to have to have at least $100,000 in front of Champagne. You feel me, Peter? Because uh, he's a pretty pronounced guy. I've met him about four times. He's going to tell you straight up. So you saying Peter Champagne must take the case for the family? I think so. But it would be a big thing. I think if he takes it, he would win. He never loses. And his resources is easily profound, and he can find information within the next 24 hours. That's what I, mean, I think. I think Peter Champagne could have beat me. <laughs> 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 them, hey, them should have glad me not go to school, you know. Uh, <laughs> be honest, okay. be honest, counsel. For somebody who never go to school. You're very pronounced. You're logical, you're tactical, you're also psychologically, in, you know, you know, you're poised enough to understand logic from just speculation or emotional mm. thought. Mm. So you're ciphering through to see a story that makes sense. You're looking for motive. You're also looking for um, penalties towards the motive. You're looking for a full story to back what that person is saying and see if it makes sense. That's why when Charlie called earlier, when you called Charlie earlier, and he said he left it at a car wash, you were like, that doesn't make sense. Mm. But you should not have left it on the live because Charlie has somebody who's listening to the live right now. That's the, dis that's the default that you did. That was a bag. No, man, but it's understand. I go and get to Charlie. I know to reach him. You know, but let me know because I'm pretty interested because I would use this as a theory, as a thesis when I'm leaving because I'm going to finish my PhD and I'm, I'm piecing together different stories and I think this is a big one. You know, it's a bad thing, but I want to understand what's happening right now. And the girl is right. Jamaica is run right now like red. Like people don't care about loyalty. People don't care about family. So you you money. look like you come from Uptown Jamaica. Is Uptown Jamaica talking about this case? Uh, yeah. Trust me. Everybody's talking about it. Corporate Jamaica, even in America. I'm tied to Austin, Texas. And all those guys say they're looking towards, if you push, they would do a little 
foundation probably talk to you guys and see if they can help because Indicom is not doing enough. And I don't think Indicom is handed the authority that they should have to mm. stand over this because Noel should be reprimanded and the young lady should be reprimanded. Noel and Kathy should be off duties immediately, effectively. Yeah, because there's a question and answer that needs to be done. And the question and answer needs to be done outside of the JCF. Outside. The JCF is a corrupted nation of people that call themselves police officers. In America, Navy SEALs divers call the Jamaican police officers just a gang with a badge with underpaid. What you said the Navy SEAL call JCF? They don't call the JCF a gang of members that has small guns with mm -hmm. a small profit margin. It's mm -hmm. just a big gang in Jamaica. Just so is 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 a is a legal bad set a bad man. It's a legal way of killing people and getting it done. But as you said, not the smartest people join the JCF. It I is. I can say that for sure. They're not so smart. They get a, a like a pamphlet to study for six months and know you're a police officer, and they don't stop lawyers because they don't know the law. You see, but that's besides the point. But I really want you guys to know the facets that you're arguing with with Charlie and what is on the table and the stakes for Charlie. Does that make sense? Wow, you, 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 I, I love this refreshing discussion. <laughs> you know, it's my spouse that sat with me just now. She was like, baby boy, you need to just talk. I'm like, what they're doing, they don't understand. They're hurting Charlie more. Because in, in, in this facet that you said, you know, chaos, distraction, mm -hmm. there's also when the principle that if one person does one thing, Mm -hmm. More than likely, based on their demeanor, they have done it before. And I'm telling you right now, Charlie has done this before. Wow. And I Google Earth to see if Charlie's car was at the big yard. I think it's called Riverton. Riverton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what color van it is. If you can lend me in WhatsApp, I could find what location he was based on Google Maps. I've paid for it so I can see as far as... We Rick. will talk about that off here. Alright, alright, no problem, man. I, I appreciate your time. Remember to WhatsApp me. You are somebody that I must keep close to me. Alright, man. WhatsApp me now. Because if you don't I WhatsApp know. me, I'm going to tell Google Maps to tell me which part this call I come from. I told I'll be you, man. Alright, my brother. Right okay. Alright, blessings. That was a very good call. Let me tell you, you know. And a bagger bagger watch my program, you know. It's not bagger bagger watch me.